Hello, this is Mr. St. Germain here to talk to you about doing a search using research at ct.org. So what you want to do if you're working from home is um, you're going to go to the page of research and you're going to choose on the left hand side for middle schools. And then you will see right here above your search box, it will say this little tiny search box here for middle schools. You're going to type your um, search topic in there and I'm going to choose, let's do forces, forces in motion. I'm going to click search and then when you're at home, it's going to ask you for your library card number. So um, you need your public, public library card number with you. When you're at school, it will automatically do what this just happened, what happened just here. But on the other one, you'll, you'll put your library card number in there and then you'll enter it and it should bring you to the thing that you search, to articles that you searched for. So from here, what you're going to do is look on the left-hand side and think about the years that you want your article uh, to be uh, in between. So here, you'll notice there are articles from between 1810 and the year 2021, so not even published yet. You can change this by clicking in the date box and changing the date. So I would want something pretty recent if it was recent research. Maybe we do 2010 until 2021. Um, you can also change your source type here. So let's say I just wanted it from uh, magazines or specific magazines. What I'm gonna do instead of clicking these boxes, I'm gonna click show more. I'm gonna wait for a minute. And what it's gonna do is, oh, show more is give me this list uh, by types of source. So let's say I just want magazines and I just want news. So I'll do that. I'm going to click update. And then I can get even pickier than that. I can show, uh, like for magazines now, I actually want to limit by publication, like by the name of the magazines or newspapers. So again, I'm going to click show more here. And let's say I want it from Time Magazine. Maybe Science News, Smithsonian, Science World. I can check off all the magazines that I would like this to come from. And Scholastic Super Science. There we go. And then I'll click Update. And it's only going to show me now magazines from those. Anytime I change my search term, I'm going to have to redo this, those settings, the date and the magazine source. Um, once you find a magazine that you or an article that you might be interested in, so here I'm going to look at the wonders of physics. It's a cover story on Science World, um, and I see it as periodical. So I click on the article, and then you're going to wait for it to pull the article up. And I see here's the whole article, and I can print it out. Now, if I want to see the actual article copied from the magazine. On the left-hand side here, where it says PDF full text, I will click on that. And again, you got to be patient. And here's the actual article copied from the magazine. All right. This looks like physics of Wonder Woman. Like, can she really deflect bullets and ride in this invisible plane? Interesting. So, um... The other thing you're going to want to remember is you want to cite your articles if you're using any information from Research at CT. Over here on the right-hand side right. is um, if you don't see this whole day. little menu, it may just look like this. But uh, one that looks like a piece of paper here is your citation one. And you go ahead and click on that. And you're going to scroll through to find MLA. And then, oh, I didn't need to click it. Sorry. I could have just copied everything under the words work cited was what I, is what I would copy. This is what I would need for my citation. All of this. If you're using Noodle tools, which I highly recommend, you, know, you can make this even simpler. Uh, if you've got a project already set up in Noodle tools in your login, you can click here, export to bibliographic management software. You give that a click. You check off direct export to Noodle tools. And then you're going to click Save, and it's going to open your Noodle Tools account for you. Um, I, I'm not logged in yet, but if you were, you would want to log in in another tab to Noodle Tools. But then um, 
you would see your account, your project down here, and you just get to save it, and it goes right there. It puts everything that you need in the correct order. All right, if you have any other questions, check out the KP Library website or email me uh, at Dave underscore St. Germain at whps.org. Thanks.